Dude, it's a nice board, man. For 60 bucks, dude, to get stabs like that, compared to the V1, I mean, it's good, dude. I don't know. I mean, it really just comes down to what do you want. All right, so what's going on, guys? My name is CG Build. And welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be looking at a budget kit. Now this is pretty exciting. Budget kits are always good for people that are trying to get into the community, trying to get into a good custom keyboard and put their own switches and keycaps in to make it more for them. And they don't want to spend a whole bunch of money, which I can definitely relate. So today we're looking at the Akko 5075S kit. Now I am going to be comparing this to the Keychron V1, pretty much same price point, yeah, so it makes sense for me to compare it a little bit. I'm not going to do a full comparison, but I am going to be throwing in some references from that because that is like a pretty popular one, especially on every creator on YouTube. Like, it's, it's a good board. So the one you see here is the Vintage White. I do like it. It looks pretty good. Now, it is plastic. It is what it is. I mean, for the price you're going to be paying, I mean, it's $60 for the kit. That's pretty good, man. A full kit for $60. Like, it for 60 bucks, dude, it looks pretty premium, I'm not going to lie. So, just some little bit of facts, and I am reading it off the site, just so I don't get it wrong. This thing is gasket mounted. Comes in with the new Akko TPU double shot plate mounted stabilizers, which, these things are pretty good, dude, I'm not going to lie. I know it's I'm picking it up, but you'll you'll hear in the you'll hear in the actual sound test. It's it sounds good. It does have a polycarbonate plate. It's not like a normal polycarbonate plate. It's like extra stiff. I don't know. I'd <laughs> you do get some pour on foam in between the plate and the uh, PCB and stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole rundown on this thing. I mean, it's for sixty bucks, dude. You get a knob. I mean, it's it's a solid build, looks pretty thick, but I mean, it's nice. I, I like it. Now, I do like that this thing comes in as a kit as well. I think that's way better. Like, you can definitely customize to exactly what you want. Now, if you want to go with some Akko switches, they're pretty cheap. You can really make a good build with this thing. I think the only thing that is a bummer that I think the V1 has a an up on this just because of the LEDs. These are north-facing LEDs, which, if you don't know, you use Cherry Profile keycaps, north-facing LEDs. You can sometimes, depending on your switch, get interference, which is not the best. So going more into the case and the design and everything, how you open this thing is, you like pop it open through all the sides, which I'm going to be honest, took me a little bit, it is kind of hard to get off. I don't know why, maybe it's just me actually, I don't know. <laughs> so opening it up, it is very basic inside. Bottom part of the case, then you have the plate, and the stabs are on there, and then the top housing. Now as you can see, the gaskets. Now, the thing I don't like or the gaskets, I'm not gonna lie, I would rather it be like pour on, just because it usually works better than the silicone ones, which it's not that bad, silicone ones are perfectly fine, and it is different from the V1, like the V1 isn't gasket mounted, there is a little bit of flex, not a lot, but with the V1, it's just stack mounted, so like, there's nothing you can do, it's just like, I think I'm pretty sure it's burger mounted, that one's more stiff, and it sounds really echoey, you know what I mean, but this one, it does, it does, it doesn't do it as much, but it is pretty hollow inside. But you, with one simple mod, you can fix that, which I will be doing. But let's keep going. At the bottom case, you actually have a silicone pour at like just the top, though. What I wish they would have done instead is used from like their other designs, from other keyboards, where it like fades into the case. But that's pretty much it for 60 bucks. That's what you get. The whole kit. Pretty nice. Once again, the only bummer, north facing LEDs. I wish they wouldn't have done that, but. All good. Now moving on to the actual build, we are going to be using some keycaps from Dankeeves. Yes, we have a new affiliate. You can go and link in the description and go buy some of their switches. They have great switches. That's the whole reason why I wanted to work with them. Like, it's so cool. I, I love these things. These are the strawberry milk switches. These things are so good. Really good sounding, smooth. Like, I didn't lube them at all, and they sound really good. Plus, they look good. I know that's not for everybody, but... Someone that looks at a lot of switches, these are very appealing. Dude, this, this, the thing is so f***ing cute, dude. <laughs> so these are linear switches. The top housing is nylon. The bottom housing is nylon as well. The stem is made of palm, which really great material. Probably one of my favorites. Gold plated spring. 55 grams of actuation. Bottom out at 67 grams. These are 5 pin. Yo, and get this. They are unlubed. Unlubed from factory. That's, dude, and they sound this good. Imagine if I lubed them. So we go ahead and pop that into the plate, and there are no interference, which is good, because now we're going to be talking about the cherry profile keycaps we're going to be using. So these keycaps are from 21KB. Now, they reached out to me, and they said they wanted to send me some keycaps. Like, bet I could always use keycaps. I'm always needing some. <laughs> These ones are the cadet ones, and as you can tell, it has the secondary text, which I always think looks really cool. Recently, with the Esper keycaps, I've loved how those look. So, like, these, I mean, 
it just looks good. I think it adds a different style. Now, on the site, they have so many different languages, anything. So, I mean, it's great. I love it. You can have different colors with it, like blue, green, red, black, like I, as you see here. These, this is a very basic set with that basic color scheme as well. It's like the gray tones. I mean, it looks good. They're made of PBT with slight texture. And you do have the little Windows key. Like, that's pretty, it's pretty, pretty cool. It's like how it was back in the day. Legends look super good. They like really thick legends. I, I like them. They they look really good. Definitely go in the description and go ahead and pick yourself up some if you do like this color scheme. So yeah, there's the whole build, dude. After putting on these keycaps, which I do like, which I know it's not gonna be for everybody. People like color, I know, but really minimal. I I like it. Now the only thing left to do is to hear the stock sound test. So you hear the stabs, they, they're they pretty good. Like I, I, I'm not even gonna lube them for this video because they're that good, I, I do like them. Especially the space bar. <laughs> now, the only thing I would say that is a slight problem is the amount of hollowness it sounds in this thing, which makes sense. It's gasket mounted, even though it is kind of touching everywhere, but it does give a little bit of room where you can mod and make it better. So I'm gonna be doing the CG mod. Now what CG mod is, you get some medical wrap. I didn't record this because I was just kind of doing it. Because once again, this thing is great stock. And I didn't know if this was gonna help at all. But it, it does, at least in person. Hopefully it shows up on sound, like on the sound test. Because everything, I use the same mic and everything. But everything's different, you know what I mean? It's kind of hard to like show exactly what the person doing it in, in person's hears, you know? So, yeah, I did the CG mod. What it is, is you get it, put it down, cut it, put another piece down, cut it. <laughs> I, I put three layers, so, that yeah, it is it is pretty nice. And, it, like I said, it it is really good stock, but this really helped. Now, you could just get some polyfill or anything like that. That would work. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, great stock sound test. Now, let's hear it with it uh, CG modded. See, it got rid of a lot of that unwanted hollow sound, but doesn't make it muted. Dude, it's a nice board, man. For 60 bucks, dude, and you get stabs like that on, like, a pretty good quality board. I mean, yeah, it's plastic. You know what I mean? It is pretty, like, it has a little bit of weight to it, but it's not the, the heaviest thing. It is nice, though. It feels, it feels solid. Compared to the V1, I mean, it's good, dude. I don't know. I mean, it really just comes down to what do you want. The V1, I mean, it's, it's two different mounting styles, you know what I mean? It's like, it's gonna sound different. The V1 is definitely good. I'm not, a, I'm actually not a big fan of gasket mounted, but this one, at least for, for what the V1 is, this one is better. I do like this more than the burger mounted V1, but you do get north facing LEDs with this one, which could be a bummer for a lot of people. They're both good. I mean, if you like that translucent one, I, I think they're, I think they're coming out with like a non-translucent one. What's that? For the V1? That's cool. But like, I don't know, man. I feel like I would go with this one. Like, the north-facing LEDs, like, isn't that big a deal to me? So, I mean, maybe I'll just go for this. I don't know. But, 
yeah, that 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 is the end of the video. I had a really great time building this. Hopefully, you did as well. But yeah, thank you, uh, Akko, for sending me this. Dang keys. Thank you. A new affiliate. Go and link. Go do that. Yeah. And yeah, go pick yourself up a Akko board and go look at Kinetic Labs and Cannon Keys as while while you're at it. <laughs> but yeah, that is the end of the video. Hopefully, you did enjoy, and I will see you in the next one.